well, what can we say about this case or this piece of tissue? Well, let's zoom in a little bit and then we'll figure out what we could say. We could say it's pink. We could say we see a lot of blood vessels. Looks like some of those areas are thick and perhaps fibrotic. If we were nice detectives, we could also say that it looks like at one edge there's some normal lung because I can see some alveoli here and vessels and anthracotic uh, macrophages within uh, perhaps pleura. But then we see, we don't know whether it's part of the lung or perhaps underneath the lung, like a diaphragm, that this tissue underneath here has a lot of various features. Uh, first feature is that there's a lot of blood vessels. The second feature is that if you look very closely, you see that there are dark, irregular, haphazardly growing cells. Some of them might look like they're a little bit multinucleated. They don't, here's one that's really dark and irregular. Here's a couple that are really dark and irregular. By now, you should suspect that this is a malignancy because it is. And by now, because many of these cells look sort of spindly or like connective tissue cells rather than like epithelial cells, you might suspect that maybe this was a, a sarcoma malignancy rather than a carcinoma malignancy. Here's either a multinucleated cell or a cell with a several irregular bizarre nuclei as is this one. Now, in addition, all we could say really in all honesty without having the uh, answer to the test is that it's some type of malignancy. It appears to look like connective tissue tumor cells. It has all of these cytologic features of malignancy. But in addition, some of the cells have these uh, kind of like spaces in it. They almost look like little adipose cells. And perhaps, for example, if we did a regular neutral fat stain, like an oil red, and we could see that there is some fat within these tumor cells, like perhaps here or here, rather than just fat that is associated with the tumor. We could then call these cells lipoblasts and know that they are the cell of origin of this sarcoma or a liposarcoma. This could very easily be a lipoblast because it's a malignant looking cell and it's surrounded by a washed out uh, are encircled by washed out material which could represent fat. And this is a liposarcoma which has metastasized to the diaphragm and that's why we see a little bit of lung at the edge and this is the same case, this is the same tumor. We could quickly recognize this as being liver for all the right reasons but there's also a big pushing nodule within this liver that looks like it's metastasized to the liver or perhaps invaded the liver if it was uh, involving the diaphragm. We could also see it's malignant. We can also see bizarre, sometimes multinucleated cells. And uh, we could perhaps wonder if some of this clear space around tumor cells might have represented fat. And if it did, then we know that if it's technically within the fat of the tumor cell, we could call it a lipoblast and uh, absolutely validate our uh, impression that this is a metastatic liposarcoma or malignancy of adipose tissue. Thank you very much.